Um, well, man, first of all, God is good, and I'm so thankful uh, that I get to do this um, at this place uh, with these guys, uh, so proud of them. Uh, they could have easily let um, the Texas Tech loss beat us twice, um, but they were able to put it in a box and put it away and then focus on preparation and uh, one you know, go one game season. Uh, I knew RJ was going to play well. I didn't know he was going to hit a big three, but I knew he'd play well because of his preparation and practice. He was the scout team point guard, I volunteered to do it. Um, Jarrell, scout team, volunteered to do it. Um, guys are like really taking ownership of the team and um, really investing more into it. And, and we're we're, we're figuring out ways um, just to get better, a little bit better every day. Um, I, I could brag about all these guys, uh, but what I want to say is that when I was driving in, uh, it was six degrees, and uh, there were people in the parking lot, like workers, parking, helping park cars. And, and I'm thinking, man, six degrees, they're out there working, right? And there were students at 2.30 lined up, and I told the guys, I said, man, when people make this kind of sacrifice, this kind of effort to allow us to have this kind of opportunity, we have to reward them with an effort that's worthy of their sacrifice. And whether we had won this game or not won this game, I was really proud of our guys because of the effort that they gave, the togetherness that they showed, that I felt honored our fans who were unbelievable tonight, and uh, we don't win the game without them. Uh, normally home court advantages are plus 10, and I think they were plus 15 for us tonight. So thank you to everyone who helped us get this dub and, and really proud of the guys who gave an effort that, that honored the, the people in our community who give us the opportunity to play this game. Um, Jerome, what do you think it is that this team, whether they're playing good or bad, every time it seems to go come down to crunch time, go to overtime, you keep finding ways to win? Uh, maturity, right? Um, some older guys, uh, belief, and uh, then we work on it every day. Every single day we work on uh, five the grind, and uh, that's what we call it. And, uh, um, so it's, it's something that our guys really take pride in. Well, what is it about Jarrell that's allowed him to help you out these last couple games, especially tonight? Uh, I can't remember who asked me that question. Might have been you that asked about um, RJ and Jarrell, right? How can they play more? And I said maturity, right? And the, what I was meaning is that uh, those guys needed to stop thinking about themselves and what they were going through and start thinking more about the team and what they could contribute to the team that had nothing to do with playing time. And I think Jarrell, I know RJ, both of those guys ha have, they, they've made some big strides maturity wise in understanding that this is a team thing and they just have to be ready. Their numbers will get called at some point in time. And uh, I mean, he's been great at practice. You can see it, right? You can see his approach, his preparation, uh, the extra work that he's putting in. I mean, just all those things. And so as a coach, when you see that and you see that he's doing it with a certain joy. It's not like I'm doing this to try and get on the court, but doing it because he loves his teammates and he wants his team to be better. But well, then you feel comfortable getting him in there. And, uh, and so, I mean, he's earned it. He's earned it. And, and we knew from the last game that we couldn't have Will play 37, 36 minutes, whatever it was, right? And so we needed somebody to step up. And uh, Jarrell did that this week for us. And he's done it like the last couple of weeks where he's really kind of earned more um, trust. Your defense has been getting better and better. What's making it so special at this point in the season? Uh, the attention to detail, attention to detail. Um, Coach Yu, Coach Marco, Coach Reem, they handle our defense. Uh, we've like pinpointed some things that uh, we got to get better at. And um, the guys have uh, been real intentional about what we're doing at practice and paying attention to the details. Saturday was a high turnover game at Tech, but you only lost by one. This was 17 turnovers. I mean, you're playing really good teams down to the wire despite the turnovers. What's that? What's, what are you thinking about that, I guess? I, I'm thinking if we can, like, have our turnovers at 11 or less, like, we're going to be really hard to beat. And um, they're like, like the two illegal screens, 
I'm, I'm okay with that, right? Because, like, that means they're going to be looking around the defense like, man, where's this screen coming from? I'm about to get hit. You, you live with those as a coach. Uh, some of the travels, some of the passes, they were um, – I got to go watch the film, but in the, the course of the game, it looked like it was the right decision. It was just bad execution of it, you know, and uh, and so we, we, we got to get better better at that. And we have to uh, we got to figure out a way as a staff to help our guys. And I, I think it's a, a staff like we we have to put them in better position where they're not getting crowded and and figure out what it is. But if we can cut those turnovers down, we're going to be hard to beat, especially here. Right. Obviously, people are going to remember. Arthur's four-point play, but how good was he leading up to that, especially defensively for you guys? Yeah, no, uh, I mean, Art did a great job. He a double-double for us. Um, uh, the, the shot, the, the offensive rebound by David to kick out, I mean, how huge was that? Especially when he had just gotten hurt a little bit before that, you know, and, and so, and then Art was ready to let it go. I, I really want Art to shoot more. Right, I want him to shoot more catch and shoot shots, and he's turned them down. And I, we got to help him there. And uh, but he has been terrific. His um, he did give up the, the 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 one rebound in the back door. Um, that's just I can't help myself. Right, it just it just does. But but he's uh he he's made a lot of great strides. I've been so pleased with all of the guys. You know. And then it was another game where Dorian kind of showed more and more that he really belongs playing against top top tier big 12 talent what do you think about how he played i think uh we said last year we think dorian has like nba talent right with size athleticism feel touch like he just hasn't it's, his confidence is growing and you know the first few games it was dorian just do what we need you to do to stay on the floor and this past week it was Dorian, I need you to shoot some open shots. Like they're leaving you open. I need you to be more aggressive. And uh, he's 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 special in transition now. You know him, and Cam. But the, like like that one play when he actually he was behind the play and outran Art down the floor and Cam threw him the lob. I mean that kind of speed that when you can score easy buckets against really good teams like like we play in our league, man, that goes a long way. And so yeah, he's D D Dorian's making great strides. At halftime, uh, several statistics that you don't want to see. You were down 11-4 in points off turnover, second chance points, and pain <coughs> points. It seemed like in the second half, you shored that up. Was that anything in particular you talked about there? At yeah, well, when they have 33 points at half, and 11 of their points are off of our turnovers, and 11 of their points are off of their offensive rebound, right? Like, I mean, dude, like, that, and that was just... A toughness thing, right? And they were they were pounding us on the glass. They were just being tougher than us, and that's one of the things we we pride ourselves on. Is you know we say the toughest team wins, and so um, we had to, we had a bunch of guys in the first half had zero rebounds. The second half, TP gets five defensive rebounds. Some other guys get some rebounds to help us because uh, I felt like we were blocking out, but we weren't chasing the ball down. And uh, second half, we did that. And I think uh, you had 15 of the turnovers. It was still fairly early in the second half and only two or three down the rest of the way. Uh, is that kind of a sign of a team that's, I guess, locked in and also maturing there? Yeah, hopefully what I'd like to see is figure out, what I want to figure out is how we can cut that 15 down to, you know, five in the first whatever minutes and, you know, and then now, it, like, we get more shots on goal. They, sh they took 22 more shots than us, right? And we won the game. Like, 22 more shots. Uh, like, we, we have to, to shore that up. What what defense? Uh, Baylor came in. They're such a good three-point shooting team in general. Defensively, what, what did you guys kind of focus on leading in? To well, if I tell you, then, like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they, they missed some shots they normally make, and I thought we did a really good job of contesting. Hey, thank you guys. Be safe on the way home, please.